um, for those of you who didn't, I'm about to share. Um, I'm currently in Memphis, Tennessee. It's raining out. Um, <clears throat> my dad is in the hospital here in Memphis. He was traveling on business, um, from what I understand. And he called me and he called for help. And then um, <clears throat> we had a family member fly down to check on him because I was out of the country and I got here as fast as I could. And um, in the last couple of weeks, as things have unfolded, uh, we've learned that my father has been the victim of elder abuse and um, financial exploitation. And pretty much <clears throat> everything that was worth anything that was in his home is gone. Um, it's really, really horrible. We're working with the Colorado Bureau of Investigations the local county sheriff in Colorado where my dad lived um, and it has been a really difficult time. I did a very emotional post yesterday on Facebook, um, I feel a little stronger today. He was up and talking today which you know touched my heart and gave me some hope. <clears throat> I'm still very upset and angry to know that there are people in the world that would do something like this to a senior citizen, to an older person. Uh, especially if you know my dad, you know he'd give you the shirt off his back. He is one of the most generous people that I know. And he's always provided for his family. And this is devastating. Um, we have a long road ahead of us. Um, he no longer has home, in, home security. So we're going to have to find a safe place for him to live. Um, when he gets out of the hospital and we're hopeful that he will uh, he's been in ICU and um, I'm asking for your prayers your love your thoughts uh, it took me a lot to get out of my ego and out of my own way and probably against my dad's best wishes because he's a very private person um, but my family and I have pulled our resources and we still need help. We need help to support him. Uh, can you give me a minute? Okay, ma'am, just, I'm on a call. <laughs> wow, people, Karens are out today. Okay. <laughs> I'm in Memphis, y'all. I just left a diner and just heard like the worst, worst good old boy conversation ever. It was, um, Anyway, let me let me digress. I am in Memphis. I'm in the South and it is the South and I can't wait to get my dad home and out of here. Um, he is doing um, he's he's got a lot a long road ahead of him. Let's just put it like that. Um, my dad is a very private person. He probably would not love that I have launched a GoFundMe campaign and I've done so because we've pulled our resources and um, <clears throat> I'm not quite sure what this lady wants. She's back again. Uh, we have pulled our resources, and we have um, we have so much that we have to deal with. We have to hire lawyers uh, to pursue the suspects. There, I can't. I'm not at liberty yet because the Colorado Bureau of Investigations is involved, as well as the local sheriff's department. So I can't share t too many details about who the perpetrators are. Um, I can only say they were caregivers or a caregiver and um, that's about all I can say about that right now um, my dad is going to need extensive medical medical care and rehabilitation we're going to have to relocate him into a safe space with long-term care and um, we don't know how horrible yet um, the financial crimes were but um, we know it's a lot and so I am asking for everyone out there, I'm gonna drop <clears throat> the GoFundMe link in this post. Uh, I will leave this on my page um, and I will drop it in this chat in just a moment. And if you all would be so kind as to share it with your communities, with your friends, your family. If you don't know my dad, he's um, John Amos. He's the actor from Good Times, Roots, Coming to America. Um, West Wing. He's been in over 200 shows. He has worked over 60 years in entertainment industry and is one of the most generous, loving people that I know. And I hate that my dad is going through this right now. And I hate that the hardship that it's put on my family 
<clears throat> I will have to stay in uh, Memphis until um, hopefully we get him released. And um, yeah, it's a lot. I'm going to look at some of the comments real quick. Um, thank you, Bonnie. I see that. Francis. Um, we need to stop elder. Yeah, we do need to stop elder abuse. I agree. Uh, I had no idea that it, well, actually I did. I do know that it is a horrible thing uh, that happens in many countries, but in the U.S. Um, and then it costs, or I think people steal over like $8 billion a year or something like that. I think that there need to be better laws in place for elderly people. Um, and if I can encourage you to get I don't care how old you are, you should have your wishes in writing and have an advocate for you all the time. Um, unfortunately, my dad spent a lot of time in the hospital alone before we were able to really locate him and see him. And um, not having someone to advocate for you can really be detrimental. Um, I know that there are people here who are going to want to talk to me and call me. Um, send me a text message. I'm kind of getting overwhelmed with calls between lawyers, detectives, investigators, my family, friends. So please send me a, t a text message and I'll call you back as soon as possible if you're one of my personal friends. Um, if you can donate, you will help us uh, be able to retain the attorneys that we need for litigation um, to pursue criminal charges. Unfortunately, one of the things that I've learned is that like, Adult Protective Services has limited resources and I think they kind of look at these things like it's a family matter and they don't really they don't really respond the way they need to. I had been calling APS for quite some time and now here we are. Um, I think it's the same. I feel like it's the same with the police department. I think that you know they look at these things like they're family crimes so what our lawyers will be doing is actually putting together the case and bringing it to the police because, you know, um, from what I'm learning, this has been going on for quite some time. And unfortunately, I was traveling and I had no idea that what I was going to see and what happened to my dad's home and all of those things would be uh, part of our reality. Um, I am heartbroken. I, I got myself together today. I'm, I'm trying to keep it together for this share. Um, but we can really utilize uh, your support, your love, your prayers, your good energy. Um, and I would be super grateful for that. Give me one second. I'm going to drop the link in the chat and you all can read it and see. And please share it with your Here you go. That's the GoFundMe link. Um, I'll make sure that I'm going to put a post um, today. And if you guys could share that post. If you have any influencer friends, if you have any friends who um, you want to tag on that, please do. We want to get the word out here because we want the suspects who did this, the alleged suspects, to pay for what they did. Um, this can't continue. And um, yeah, I'm going to leave it right there because I know if I keep going, I'm going to get emotional again. I love you all. Um, you know, I hope that if you have parents at, who are living, make sure they have their affairs in order. Make sure you have um, someone appointed for their long-term care in the future. And, um, and do that for yourself too. You know, at any age, it doesn't matter how old you are. None of us are going to get out of here alive. But in this lifetime, we should have the love and support. And honestly, what I want for my dad, and my intention in all of this, is to give him a safe space to live for the rest of his life. However long that is, I just want him to be safe and to be with the people who love him and who care about him. Um, because clearly these people had other interests and it wasn't my dad. Um, he's 83 years old and I think, like I said this on Facebook yesterday, the thing that hurts me the most is that anyone, anyone could have asked him for anything and he would give you the shirt off his back. And the fact that they stole from him and that they stole things from his home and you know left him in those kind of conditions and dropped him off at a hospital like completely outrageous completely egregious and outrageous um so 
please send my family lots of love and light and healing energy and um, and thank you for your love and support. I will do my best to go in the thread afterwards and answer questions. I'm gonna go by the hospital again and just check on him, see how he's doing, um, and try to get the latest information that I can. And um, um, I am in Memphis, Tennessee. I'm a long ways from home right now. I live, you know, you all know I'm, I live out of the country uh, most of the time and um, completely out of my element here uh, but you know I know there's some good people here I met some good people here and then they've been very helpful and we have an amazing uh, legal advisor right now that's helping us and um, my whole family uh, is being supportive and we're all pulling our resources too so um, please share this and I'm sending y'all love and healing energy wherever you are I will do my best to go through the thread and answer your questions, so just check back in a little bit. I'm going to get going, but um, and I'll come on a little later and let you know how my dad is doing and give you guys updates, and um, yeah, please share, okay? Thank you, you all. Uh, love you again, and have a beautiful, beautiful, blessed day. Thank you.